Hi, this is Stefan Edwards from eManage1. In the following video demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can use the eManage email templates. Um, what an email template is, is basically uh, if you're sending out the same email all the time or similar emails, you could create templates for those emails. Um, I'll just go ahead and open up an email just so you can, you can see what that is. Um, so if I was going to send an email, I can open up this email and I can just type in a name, type everything in here, and in the body, I can type different information. Now, if I'm going to be sending out the same thing over and over again, I could do a couple of things where I can create some predefined text. So I have one here, such as the eManage quote. If I select the eManage quote, quote and use that template, it put in all the verbiage and all the text and my signature that I wanted for that quote. So I'm going to show you how you can how to do that. So first what you do is you go to the main tool menu and you go to communication, communications, and then you go configure email templates. And inside of those templates, I could do some very basic things like that quote I did. And what I'll do is I'm going to open up that quote so you can take a look at that. So I will edit that. And all I do is I could just type in here. So if I want to create a new one or edit, as an example, if I wanted to edit this and change some words around, I can make this edit and then save it. If I want to create a brand new one, then I can just start creating a new one. And sample, I could create a sample template and I can do different things in this template, make things that are bold. I could change things that, uh, you know, change the color and so on. So I have a lot of options that I can do here for this template. And a template can be used for, um, as an example, when I just showed you that you managed quote, is I'm send, I send out basically a, a same quote and say the same thing every single time. And the only difference is, is I'm sending it to a different person. So I just copied out the email that I that I typically send and I pasted it in here and I saved it. I can also take uh, and write up an email inside of a Word document and paste it in here. But if you're going to do that, you need to copy it and you click on this paste contents that you copied from Microsoft Word. Okay, so that's a pretty basic just function of the um, eManage template, email template. But you can start to get a little bit more sophisticated with this and use uh, mail merge functionality, merge functionality with data inside of um, eManage. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And at the top here, I'm going to select a type of record. And maybe I'm just, I'm going to select a contact record. And what this is doing is I'm loading in all the data fields that are available on a contact record. So now I can say, dear, space, and I want to add the contact name, add. And I can add some more things um, in here from the contact record if I want to like department, uh, actually what's probably better that I should do here is I probably should use the first name rather than the contact. And so I'll go ahead and delete that and I'll select their first name and add and comma. Now when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and just save this. Sample contact. template. And I'm going to make this public and I will save it. So now on my list here, I will have sample contact template. So what I can do now is if I'm in, if I want to send an email and maybe I need to do a bulk email, 
I can type out the, you know, the person I'm going to send this to. I can start typing their name and select them from the list. I have a subject and so on. And down in this template, I am going to select the template, which is the sample contact. Use it. And you notice it just says sample and deer. Well, what I can do now is if you notice right at the bottom here, it says drag and drop any record from a grid here to merge the data. So now, if I actually went, let me move this up a little, kind of get it out of the way. And now, if I search for this contact, and once it finds it, I can go here. If I drag and drop right here, it automatically merges the data. So now, if you think about it, I've done a couple things here, if you notice in my dropdown. I have a couple other templates in here. As an example, I have these different touches. I can order confirmation, and these are two different project coordinators. I have a, a satisfaction survey. I have an order status and delivery and installation confirmation. So if I use this delivery and uh, installation confirmation and select that, now what it does is it puts it puts um, some preset text in here, and you notice I have at primary contact and at first schedule install date and last schedule install date, and then I have my preset text. Okay, so what I could do now is if I go and grab one of a project and. Let's grab a project from, I can grab a project from just about anywhere. So let's actually go to one that's on my jobs installing. So I know how I have an install date. And I will select this, drag and drop it. And what it will do, so what it does, and I'll do this one more time. When I drag this project, I select the project, I drag it, and I drop it into the space down here. It automatically will put the person, if there's, I don't, I don't have a primary contact there, but it's actually showing the, the start and end date. So let's actually find one that has a primary contact on the project. And let's drag and drop that one. And there we go. So it says it's got the contact's name and then to inform you that your order has shipped, and then here's the dates that we have. And so now, then I could just send this. So rather than having to type this out uh, every single time you send this email, or if there's multiple people within your company that are sending the same emails and you want to create some consistency and save some time, you can use these templates and then just drag and drop them. Uh, order status as well. Uh, we have information, and so we have installation dates down here. And if I drag and drop this down at the bottom, uh, it will also update some of the other information here as well. Um, also, there is the uh, order confirmation, and this is for GSA that we use. And this is another one where we use it and it goes up to the customer so they can use our customer web portal and it will drop in and put their username and password as well. So anyways, those are a couple different ways you can use the um, eManage uh, email templates. And again, you can just go back right to your main tool menu and under communications and configure email templates. This is where you do it. So I hope that was helpful and you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.